thought I would start off today's vlog with a quick tag. It is the I Love Spring tag, and I saw this posted on Simply Sherry's videos not that long ago. I'll link her response down below. I enjoy Simply Sherry just because of her tone. She just has this Canadian sweet tone, and I just like to listen to her as I do things. So she's just a small channel, and if you're somebody that enjoys somebody's tone, like how they talk, you might enjoy her. Go check her out. Okay, so for the tag, here are the questions. First question, I love spring tag. What is my favorite spring nail polish color? Fun fact, I am really into the nail stickers. Haven't worn any for a hot minute because... I actually got a weird nail fungus issue so had to get rid of that it's finally gone and now I can put stickers on again but that's thoroughly what I am enjoying is just popping on fun nail stickers I put a top coat like a gel top coat and it lasts for five to seven days and it's just super fun so that's answer number one okay question number two what is your must-have lip color this spring there are two lip products I've been putting mostly on my lips and they are just like glossy covers are not actually lipstick. The first one is actually out in my car, but it's by Sugar Rush, which is funny to me because I got a lipstick from that brand and hated it. It's some kind of matte lipstick. Some people liked it, but it just dried my lips up so much, hated it. But I have some type of purple gloss that I got from Ipsy and I absolutely love it. I put it on my lips all the time. It gives like a nice, super shiny, just pretty look and I love it. The other one that I've been wearing a lot of is by Glow Recipe Lip Pop and it is this pink and I feel like it is so pretty. It gives my lips a little bit more color and it's natural. Like I just, I love that. Like look at it. I'm using the crap out of this thing. So I'll be sad when this goes and it tastes like watermelon. Hello, yum. Okay, show us your favorite spring dress. I ran and picked out one of my favorites and it is this long all the way to my ankles dress. I love the colors of it and I got it at Goodwill. I have no idea what the brand is. It just says large. So yeah, no idea where it came from, who made it but it is so comfortable and I love a dress I don't have to shave my legs in. So every time I wear this, Ryan compliments how nice I look. I can wear it to work. Not that I'm going right now, but I do wear this in the spring with like a jean coat. It would be so cute with a white denim coat. I might have to get one of those. But anyways, love this. This is definitely a favorite. Okay, number four, what is my favorite flower? That's really hard to pick. Um... I'm really enjoying my snowball bush. I'll try and insert, insert a picture of it, but it's just a big bush with these white round flowers. And I like to just cut a limb off and bring it inside and it lasts for a week. It's just a nice way to add some decor to my house. And they're just so dang pretty. Um, I love them so much. And there is another plant. Um, it hasn't bloomed quite yet. It blooms late spring. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what it's called. If I remember the name of it, I'll put the name down here, but it's it's a beautiful bush again, has nice big round flowers, and I just absolutely love them. My dad gave me a bush that blooms out front and is definitely one of my favorite spring flowers. Every time it blooms, I get so excited. So it would be those two bush flowers. They're just, I grow them and I love them and they are my favorites right now. All right, favorite spring scarf accessory. I don't wear scarves. I always just feel so awkward wearing them. Um, but for accessories, I honestly have to say sandals. I love that sandals are appropriate to wear again. Um, I will wear sandals in the winter and look ridiculous just because I hate shoes. I shouldn't say I hate shoes. I just prefer the barefoot life. Um, my newest sandals, I shared these in a haul. You can tell I've been wearing them. Look at my toesies. But they're so fun and I get compliments on them. They're like, wow, those shoes are fun. I'm like, yeah. And I just love how they, I don't know, make plain outfits a little extra fun. Um, but for sure, my preferred spring accessory is sandals. I will buy 10 pairs and not have enough 
spring trends that I'm most excited about. Honestly, with spring weather, you just get to wear shorts again. Dresses are just easier to wear as dresses without layering them up. Um, I love the more natural makeup look and just the sun-kissed face because everybody's getting out in the sun. Their freckles are coming out. So I don't know that this is a spring trend. I just love the way that people seem overall more relaxed in their clothing and they just glow more and there's smiles to be had underneath all those masks and I just I love that so I guess that's my spring trend that I love it's just people naturally just being more radiant favorite spring candle I don't think I have one right now I went around and looked at my candles that I have and I can just tell you guys I prefer like light floral, not like rose in your face, but like fresh floral scents and fruits. Like those are all the candles that I am navigating towards for spring. Um, summer, I'll start aiming towards like the beach and coconut and things like that. But right now it's, it's pretty flowers and fruit. Favorite body spray or perfume? I really like it's called Born Lovely, and it's by that actress that's from Sex and the City. Sarah Jessica Parker? Is that her name? Is there Michelle in there? If you know, you know. But the Born Lovely, it's a little stick, like roll-on stick. Again, I got from a subscription box, and it just smells, it's floral, but it's like a little bit sweet. And it just smells nice. And every time I wear it, every time I wear it, my husband says I smell nice. And that's so important. I have, I wanted to say that it was a Mary Kay perfume that I just recently got. But after wearing it a couple times, I don't know that I love it. Um, which is too bad because I bought it. But uh, and I noticed that my husband just said that I smelled like perfume. He didn't tell me I smelled nice. Like, I know how to read that man, okay? So... I think that I'm leaning towards Born Lovely. I love Fancy by, um, oh gosh, another actress name, Jessica Simpson. But I prefer that in like the fall winter because I feel like it smells a little bit like baked goods. So I want to go with Born Lovely. If you haven't smelt it, give it a little whiff and tell me what you think. What's spring like where I live? Dat. But also, like, we get crazy rain sometimes. We get windstorms. We haven't had any thunderstorms yet. Um, it can get really cold. Like, in the mornings, um, at the beginning of spring, I have to defrost my car still. I haven't had to do that for a while. So now it's just, like, moderate weather. Just kind of chill. Definitely my favorite weather. Like, for sure, spring is my favorite season. No doubts. And along with that... What's my favorite thing about spring? I love being outside more. The barbecue season starts up. I can lay in my hammock. I can start laying out in the sun. My kids get to be outside away from them stinking screens more often. I get to hear birds again. I love birds, by the way. If my cat ever brings in a bird, <laughs> I'm gonna cry the bird um and I love listening to people maintain their yard like I'm one of those people like yes use that lawn mower cut down them tree I don't know I'm just I love that I just love that people are out more people are walking people are just being healthier what is there not to love about spring I know that there is some things like allergies but we're not getting into that spring is awesome Number 11 in my spring cleaner. I can't say that I clean more in the spring than I do any other time of the year. I really can't, but I feel like I might enjoy it more during the month of spring because you can open the windows, you can let the fumes escape your house. You know, that's important when you're just breathing in all that bleach and pine salt and whatever it is. I like to have windows open when I clean. So I think that I just enjoy it more in the in the spring. But overall, I'm a messy person. So I'm not going to say that I love it. And lastly, do we have any plans for spring break or upcoming vacations? No, we don't. We kind of 
are terrible at making plans and leaving and doing things. It's just not part of our, our mapping, how we are. So nope, we don't plan to go anywhere. Um, we're kind of last minute, like, let's go do this or we get invited to things and none of those things really happen. So if we don't go anywhere, that's fine. I always have a mile long list of things that need to be done around here. So anyways, that's it. That's the spring tag. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know. I don't know why I chose that as my like sitting arrangement for that tag. Cause like my neck hurts now, but you know, my bed was made and you guys needed to see that. Isn't this the coolest? Look at these chicken tacos. I'm so excited to try them. I know I'm so weird, but like, can we look at today's stickers? <laughs> look at the pig. I mean, I thought that the elephant was cute, but like, pigs and popsicles, okay? I guess it's sweets. It's not popsicles. I love it. So funny because I'm sitting here listening to PE happen for Brody's class and they're doing <laughs> they're doing boys against girls and the girls lost this last round so they had to do mountain climbers and jumping jacks and I heard the teacher go hey what's with that eye roll I don't know why that's so funny. I think it's because it's like 10 year old girls. Like, I know. So funny. I'm about to go do my little grocery pickup slash post office drop off. I'm hoping they don't close for lunch. I feel like they might. We'll see. But look at this. And if, Brittany, you happen to be watching right now on this piece of the video and you haven't gotten anything, you're going to have to fast forward a whole minute. Look at this. My friend made this. She shared it on Facebook. And the reason I thought of Brittany is because she lost her Dotson baby, oh uh, gosh, last year or the year before. Time is meshed. Anyway, she got a new one and I saw this little face and I was like, I mean, she has to have it. She has to. And it is for sure a Dotson. It's like got a little... It's got like a longer body. So, I had to. And it's just got a little note. It's not a big deal. It's just like a I'm happy for her type of little present. Okay. Let's go. I'm so grumpy right now. I would have been back on time. But, they had a new system. And so, I went into their app. And it made me check in digi digitally. And I sat there and waited and it was probably about eight minutes. I'm like, nobody's coming. So I called and the guy said he would be right out and another like five minutes went by and the guy comes out. He's like, I'm so sorry for the wait. We have a new system and the new guy that was left on my lunch didn't know how to do it. Teach him, teach him how to do these things before you go on lunch. <laughs> I sent a message to my boss. I hate that. I hate when I don't have any control. I could have just left, I guess, and came back and got my groceries at a later time, but I was like half checked in and I didn't want somebody else to get my stuff. Stupid. Stupid. That's what I get for trying to do an errand on a lunch break. I'm grumpy. Ugh, and then you're just gonna be in my lane, you little slow poke. this morning I might as well have been dead I was so out and it was so incredibly hard to wake up I don't know why I didn't do anything that was like big to make myself tired but also I kind of had like some weird cramping yesterday so I'm like maybe my body just doesn't feel good I don't know being a woman is awesome so awesome 
anyways just dropped the kiddo off to his daycare heading into work um, I'm gonna try something out this week and maybe into next week to see how it goes but I have this acrylic like little drawer system and I don't really have a home for it and right now it's holding like lipsticks my magnetic lashes just random odds and ends and I started having a conversation with myself of do I need these things I started that conversation because of space and I like to have things tidy and clean and sometimes I clutter myself and I have a goodie container um, that I hold like my more used makeup and then I have this acrylic set that just holds random stuff that I don't have a home for so I'm like okay what if we start wearing some of these lipsticks just wear the lipsticks see if you like them see if they're even good lipsticks to have because I wear a lipstick so rarely that I don't really have an opinion and are they worth me keeping um, all of that so right now I have a wet and wild one that I purchased forever ago um, it's one of the liquid cat no cat suit liquid cat suit um, lips you know lip gloss stick things um, those a while ago because of somebody saying that they were awesome and I've only worn it once it's a it's pink right I get it a pink color but it's fun so this week I'm gonna wear this pink color and embrace it and see if it's worth keeping um, it's really drying because it's a matte lipstick so that always bothers me I would prefer to have slug lips over desert lips any day my husband would dis disagree he hates when I wear lip glosses but I honestly wear them for me it has nothing to do about him um, but this feels really drying and that's kind of bothering me but it's such a like bright pink that it's fun right it's fun to have different colors so anyways I'm gonna try wearing this today and seeing just how it wears when I like eat and stuff and I'm also gonna try it with lip gloss over it just to see how that wears and if I like it then I'll keep it and put it into my goodie container and if I don't like it then I'm just gonna throw it away and I'm gonna do that with all of my things so anyways just trying to find ways to declutter I need to buy less I guess but like I like to buy things so kind of part of where my, um, whoa, stay in your lane. Ugh. This is part of where my, like, gifting comes from. It's like I buy things and then I give other people clutter. Just confirmed my eyelash appointment for tomorrow. I am so excited. It's one of the presents that Ryan gave me. I've always wanted to try, like, having my eyelashes permed. Tinted. So tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm going to be getting my eyelashes done. I've had extensions before and I just personally don't like the maintenance of them and I don't like how harsh they are on my eyelashes. And when I looked at the um, length of time that this perm and tint process should last, it should last four to six weeks. So the length of time that it lasts is about the same. But I'm hoping that there's just less damage to my eyelashes because I don't have a lot. And you know, when you come transitioning out of fake eyelashes, your eyeballs are like patchy. And I hate that. Hate it. I've been trying to grow my eyelashes out with that Babe Lash brand where you paint it onto your eyelids. And I don't know if they've gotten any longer, but I do feel like they are when I do my makeup. Like I feel like I have some more length. Although the last couple of days I've had an eye twitch and I'm like, is it related? Is there somehow a relation here? Should I not be putting this on my eyes? I don't know. My eyes just twitching because it's twitching. Anyways, I just took the kid to school, the oldest. 
God, I need to keep myself busy so I don't eat because I've just, I've been off track. It's not that I make excuses. I just shut down the voice of reason of like, are you actually hungry? Yesterday I ate a lot. I was just in an eating mode and I kind of feel like I want to be that way again. But the guilt of like overeating is setting in. So I'm like, why? Why were you doing this, Raina? You're doing this because you don't have great blood pressure, you know, and those that are overweight have more health complications in general. You don't want to be on medications. I'm so anti-medications as much as I can. So I'm like, why am I not making better choices? So I'm trying to be reining myself back in today of being mentally aware and just Say no, you don't need a turkey sandwich. You can have one at lunch, but you don't need one right now. No, Rena, you don't need that bag of Doritos. No, Rena, you don't need that popcorn. Cause I just keep eating to eat. So I'm trying to drink my water and get back on track. And it's just, it's hard. I joked with Ryan, I'm like, why? We, you know, we took all these breaks from eating well. I'm like, why? Why did we give the crackhead crack? And I don't mean to like make fun of anybody that's struggling with drug things to so know that, but like it's just kind of a, a similar thing with me. You start letting me eat what I want, then I just come on. I want to keep doing that because it feels good. Not feels good, but like feels good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back to work. Several weeks later, we are heading into another forever long video, so I need to make an ending. I just do that. I film a bunch of clips day in, day out, and then there's no endings because I don't really know where the beginning is, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and end this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. And know that as I'm watching this, I totally forgot I was doing that acrylic makeup thing and I need to get back on that. So that's why we make videos. We make videos to remember things that we just talked about agreeing to do. If you're Raina. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to shut up because we're at like 25 minutes. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Love always. And I'll see you in the next video.